Hello Cancer, welcome to a you and them reading. We're going to be looking at what are the energies between you and this person, what's going on in your connection, how do you feel about each other. So let's jump right in for Cancer. Spirit, angels, guys, messages please, guidance. For Cancer, regarding love, regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What does Cancer need to know? What do we need to know about what's going on in this connection between Cancer and this person? All right, let's start with what's going on between you and this person, Cancer. What's going on in this connection between Cancer and this other person's spirit? What are the mutual energies between Cancer and this other person, this one? Queen of Wands. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. Um, I'm getting a lot of passion, interest from this card. Like someone's very interested in you, vice versa. I'm getting also like thinking a lot about each other, like constantly present in someone's mind. Maybe someone looks really good or dresses well or dressed up one day or just looks really hot. <laughs> you could also just be dealing with a fire sign here. What else? What's going on between Cancer and this other person? Now the Queen of Wands is very fearless. Um, when it comes to her goals, she goes after what she wants. Very bold, very um, eccentric, very kind of like life of the party energy, charismatic. Um, interesting that the Five of Pentacles came out here. Because now I'm thinking that someone's admiring you from outside or like oh, from being away from you or apart from you. Maybe someone's really interested. And I say someone because these are your mutual energies. So both of your energies are here, Cancer, you and this other person. So flip it if it resonates, right? Someone is interested in a specific person, thinking about them a lot, drawn to them, attracted to them. And I feel like they can't access them. Let's see. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? Why is this Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, the tower. So something happened. Something happened to cause a distance here. Or something happened and it affected someone and keeps them from what they truly desire or want. I feel like a tower happened already in this connection. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Something shocking, just something was destroyed, something unexpected, maybe something was revealed. But I feel like when um, I see a tower with the Five of Pentacles, it, it was like the worst thing that could have happened. It affected someone so badly that they're still struggling. Ace of Swords. I feel like someone wants to talk. They want to talk to the person that they're thinking about or drawn to here. Maybe they're thinking about taking action, communicating. Queen of Wands is very bold. They go after what they want. But I feel like the issue here is that there, there already is a tower that happened in this connection. So I feel like that'll be a challenge. Let's see. Let's get an energy oracle. Tell me more about what's going on here for Cancer and this other person's spirit. What's going on here for cancers? For some of you, this could have been financial difficulty as well with the Five of Pentacles. What's going on here for cancer? Pure seduction. Someone's really attracted to another person. Maybe the physical chemistry was um, excellent or there's just this. There, I'm, I'm getting like constantly thinking about another person. Your mind always wanders back to this person. There's a physical attraction, but also like an intense chemistry, a desire. And this could be how someone feels about you or how you're feeling about someone else right now. Yeah, but there's fear here, paralyzing fear, anxiety. Fear is holding you back. So someone is, again, held back from what they truly want or desire. Let's get some other oracles here. These are my own oracles, by the way, if you want to check them out. I do sell them on Etsy and they're linked in the description box. Tell me more spirit for cancer. What else do we need to know about what's going on here between cancer and this other person? 
what's going on here enchanted rose karmic lesson judgment yeah there was a lesson learned here but i feel that there's also unfinished business whatever happened with this tower paper lantern at the bottom of the deck message secret admirer or news again this is like that ace of swords someone wants to talk cancer let me clarify this tower i just want to get one more for this tower spirit can i get one more energy for this tower please why is the tower here why is the tower here why is the tower here page of wands interesting the fool at the bottom of the deck so i'm getting someone willing to take a risk here maybe after the tower happened or despite this tower like there's again a lot of fiery energy here a lot of like passion action creation um the wands are about like initiative desire passion so i feel like with the queen of wands ace of wands and page of wands and paper lantern someone wants to take the initiative to talk okay so let's jump to your energies i'm gonna um have your energy here on the left and your person on the right cancer but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you spirit tell me about cancer what is cancer thinking feeling when it comes to this person this connection eight of pentacles and the wheel so i feel like you want to work things out cancer or are hoping for an opportunity where you can put an effort into this again or work on this again maybe you're hoping this person takes the initiative or takes an opportunity to work on things with you as well like you want to see uh action or or dedication from this person yeah bottom of the deck is the five of wands so i feel like you have like a falling out with someone maybe a fight maybe a separation can i get one more for cancer what is cancer thinking feeling spirit what is cancer thinking feeling nine of cups yeah so you definitely i feel want to um fix this the chariot your energy is at the bottom of the deck so i feel like you want to move past this you want to keep going in this connection or at least move forward have some sort of like future with this person and let me know if i'm right about that in the comments but that's what i'm getting here like it would be a wish granted or you would be very happy if you were able to kind of move past whatever has happened with this person tell me more about cancer energies um cancer's energy <laughs> what is english tell me about cancer's energy spirit what is cancer thinking feeling when it comes to this person this connection departure yeah someone left this connection or there was a separation yeah that is way too many that is way too many so i'm going to put these back tell me more for cancer tell me more for cancer what do i need to know you have taught me so much yeah i feel like whatever happened it affected you both maybe you learned lessons from what happened maybe this separation taught you something about love relationships excuse me or like how you approach relationships maybe you realized you were wrong about something cancer because i'm getting like someone's like learned a lesson could also be that this person walked away but they've learned a lesson from that as well and they want to tell you that they've learned something important that you taught them about real love or about what it means to truly uh, love someone something like that ah I haven't asked my question yet but wow six of cups so this could be a soulmate someone from your past i definitely feel you already had a history with this person tell me about oh my gosh my deck wants to talk today i don't know what's going on tell me about cancer's person i haven't asked my question yet though so i don't want to like pick any cards tell me about cancer's person what is their energy what are their energies um, I, I mean i give up <laughs> what's this the lovers wow so we have the six of cups and the lovers now gemini energy i do feel like this person they think that you are a special individual you had a special connection 
Four of Swords. I do think they want to heal this connection as well. Four of Swords is also reflecting, healing. I think you're both mirroring each other, even if you don't know it. Tell me more about this person that Cancer is dealing with. What are their energies towards Cancer? What are their energies, thoughts, feelings towards Cancer? Oh my God, I got three. Jeez. Five of Cups, regrets, the world, a new cycle, and the star, healing again, Aquarius energy. Look at this energy. I mean, when you see all these uh, cards together, you instantly think, well, someone's regretting their past actions, wants a new start, has wish a wish, a hope for the future, healing for the future. I feel like this person wants to have a do-over or have like a, a new beginning, a new start with you. And the Fool did come up as well. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini, but I feel like this is more about healing a connection. I think you both want to heal this connection with each other. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh yeah, Knight of Wands. And again, the Wands energy, action, wanting to make a move, wanting to kind of, I don't know, go after what you desire. The Knight of Wands is like, I see something that I want and I'm going to quickly go after it. So I feel like this person not only wants to fix this connection, but is perhaps willing to actually make a move, take some action to do it, right? To actually like get this done. Tell me more about what this person's thinking or feeling when it comes to cancer. Other half. Oh yeah, they definitely feel like you are their other part. They're like their missing piece. That's what I heard, missing piece. You're their other half. The lovers, the six of cups, a very special connection. What else do we need to know for cancer? What else do we need to know? I wish I could tell you how I feel. So I feel like this person has something to tell you that they haven't expressed yet. Bottom of the deck, I never meant to hurt you. Yeah, this person, they're missing you, cancer. They're, they miss you. They feel you're that missing piece in their life. Um... And this is their desire. I don't really see action here, but I do see action here with the Page of Wands. Let me clarify this, the Page of Wands. What do we need to know about this Page of Wands? Spirit, what do we need to know for Cancer? What do we need to know about this Page of Wands? Yeah, the Fool. So I feel like the Fool came out with the Page of Wands again. <laughs> the message is the message. Um, I feel like this is someone that's willing to take a risk. The Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, the Fool. I definitely, feel, I'm surprised the Magician isn't here because I feel like this is this this individual is willing to take a risk. Maybe they haven't been able to um, in the past, or maybe they didn't feel this brave in the past because Paralyzing Fear is here. But I feel like something's changing because again, I think that this person is missing something in their life. Five of Pentacles. It's like they're miss, they have a missing peace a hole in their heart or in their life and they're thinking you know i don't want this to end completely i do feel like there's some sort of communication coming in we'll see in the extended but for now i feel like this person's energy is very clear cancer let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments i'm going to leave it there thank you so much for watching cancer hit that like button if you enjoyed the reading subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i'll see you on another video very soon take care